In this video, I'm going to show you an example of a linear system. This example is a continuation of the breakfast example in the previous videos. So this video is part three of the breakfast series. In part one of the breakfast series, we arrived at this linear equation about the two unknowns x sub one and x sub two. And in part two of the series, we saw that this linear equation has infinitely many solutions. In fact, the set of its solutions are the order two tuples x sub one, x sub two that correspond to all the points on the straight line in the two-dimensional plane. And that includes the extreme cases of having no yogurt and about eleven granola bars, or having no granola and about two and a half cups of yogurt. Of course, these solutions in the extreme cases are not very desirable. So, which one of these infinitely many solutions do I actually want for my breakfast? This is where I need an extra constraint to help me make the decision. And the constraint is that I want my breakfast to be balanced. So, for every ounce of granola I eat, I need to drink one cup of yogurt. So, the number of cups of yogurt should equal to the number of ounces of granola. The second equation we arrived at is also a linear equation, because you can rewrite it in the standard form as x sub one minus x sub two is equal to zero. These two linear equations, equation one and equation two, are about the same set of unknowns x sub one and x sub two, because the x sub one in the first equation is the same unknown as the x sub one in the second equation. They have the same meanings, the same values. And the x sub two in the first equation represent the same thing as the x sub two in the second equation. So when you have a set of linear equations about the same set of unknowns, then the set of linear equations is called a system of linear equations, or more briefly, a linear system.